Hello, welcome to episode 8 of Hughes. This is a very quick one. It's a response Hughes. I did one last week, so I'll do one again for this second week of videos. It's basically responding to the unknown of this lockdown. Because we're going into our fourth week. We won't know for a couple more days what's going to happen. Very likely it's going to be extended and it makes sense to extend it. But it's still an unknown. And how do we confront that? Because you probably might have been waiting for it to end. But now it's extended. But this is the thing. And this, what I'm talking about, comes from the playwright that I'm looking at at the moment. Because he still works now. He's in his 80s, Edward Bond. He's, 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 he's still working. He's still theorising. He's written in on his website in a letter in response to someone who wrote to him. He talks about politicians saying about returning to normality after this. And he argues, well, you can't return to normality after this. We can't just revert back to what we were. Because if you think about it, because it would just be like going back to a previous state, it'd be reversing back. It'd be like looking at something and going, now I'm going to go backwards, see you later. It'd be like something like this. Okay. Who put that there? Who's put that there? Right, right, okay, I think it's right. Go back to normal. Go back to normality. Because you'd just be repeating the same thing, arguably. If you go back to normality after an extreme like this, you'd arguably just be doing the same thing. You wouldn't really acknowledge anything's changed. So yeah, you need to come out of the extreme because you can't stay in extremes forever. There has to be that equilibrium balance back. But it can't be a return. I can't be the person I was three weeks ago. And this is why I talk about gaps. Because this is what the essence of the gap is when I talk to you about it, why I'm sitting on the floor. Because we are inside some inside an extreme and it's ripped everything open. We're all inside it. The only way is by accepting it. So you probably, you might have felt like breaking the rules. You might have got frustrated seeing other people breaking the rules. But the argument is all you can control is you. But you can have an impact on other people. That's not saying you can't do that. But you have to change from you. If you can sit in that extreme, this extreme, and go, okay, I'm going to confront this. How do I find my true self in this? Knowing I've got to do assessments, my dissertation, my assignments, my chapters. And that is my, my, my tip for you today. Is ground yourself in this extreme. Find that true you, that value in you. And don't go back to normality. Get out of the extreme when you can, when we can. Go back to studying, go back to work, get your routines back. But don't go back to the state of mind or being that you were. Because... You deserve to be better. We all do. All those who give their lives every day, working, working with people, with the honest frontline workers, everyone else who's still working, still frontline workers, still working. 
every one of us deserves to go further if you are willing to try just don't go back don't go back keep going forward find your true self ground yourself in the extreme and be the self you are meant to be so keep safe and keep hopeful and thank you for listening and take care i really mean that take care i'll see you tomorrow bye 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 bye